What is with you, Dorego women and champagne, then? Just because you're dating my mother doesn't mean you should tell the line of familiarity in this conversation. Like this is what I definitely don't like. Hi guys, welcome back to Wako's Review, the only Nigerian reviewer that is from Togo. Yep, I'm not going to lie, I'm running out of things to say here. So if you are new, please use anything around you to smash that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications so you'll be notified whenever I post. Like this video and roll the intro. Normally when a big show like the men's club ends, I usually hear 70% of my subscribers say, all right, I'm gonna head out, <laughs> bye. But surprisingly, the men's club came back for one more go in trying to make all the ladies say, God, when? All at the same time. And it worked. Oh, God, when? Oh, my ovaries. Oh, she's using an iPhone 5. She's using an iPhone 5? At first, the men's club dropped this trailer telling the fans that there will be a holiday special. And we were excited for approximately one minute until we saw this guy with packs. That made me angry. I don't like guys with packs around some people that I love. Episode one of the holiday special titled A Christmas Story was mostly a backstory about the most talked about couples in the men's club, which is Lewis and Lola. But I want you to watch this video till the end, so I'm going to save them till the end, obviously. Let's start with Tayo. So Tayo was in this bad dream where Hadiza brought him breakfast, and I was very happy for him. Normally, we humans end up doing something we should not do, then we wake up and beg for forgiveness. But I'm glad he read through the bread and egg. He woke up shouting Tiara! <laughs> <laughs> and most people thought this meant he misses her, but we all know why he was shouting her name. It was because she ran away with his money. She she stole his money. You guys thought I forgot? Nah, man. I'm not forgetting anything. She should give him back his money. But he still misses Tiara, and the only way he knows how to show that he needs her back in his life is by sending her lovely messages. And I won't lie, when I paused this video at this point to read this message, I found it cute. But what spoiled it for me was this. I couldn't stop myself from singing. All I want for Christmas is a message from you. Larry, aka Dunganga Dongos is a special breed that can only be acquired by luck. He is now in love and I have never seen him more happier. I attack this character a lot but today I'm definitely going to chill because I'm happy my brother is happy. You guys know that you can't be called a Dunganga without mishaps. So his babe, if you don't know, they are now dating. That is his babe. Okay, so his babe, who is obviously older and wiser than him, is well educated in reality and knows how people in Nigeria assimilate situations. And this is not in any way unique to only her because even a four year old that lives in Nigeria knows how Nigerians think. And what I'm trying to say is that she knows that being around him in a coupled up way will bring so many eyes like Nollywood movies shot outside in 2007. That is a hard reference, man. And she isn't ready for that attention. But Larry, as I have always said in countless occasions, he's not from this galaxy. He's not from this Milky Way. He's not from this universe. He was so confused that she thought that, and he was like, ah, what? Who would think that? Who in Nigeria would think that me dating an older woman is somehow weird? Who? Amina and Tumini are in this weird relationship, and no one is happy about that. <clears throat> <laughs> he's still figuring out that his oil farm or petroleum farm thing that he's doing and she's at home and that's all <laughs> yes that's all he got her a christmas present and trust aminu to always raise the standards of what gifts should be like think about it if you get her a benzo and you guys break up how will i compete when i want to toast her my own is to buy you shawarma with one hot dog and i, and I heard two is expensive so you you know one Will be lesser it will be lesser expensive but it's still expensive that's all i have to offer at this point man for lewis and lola their story continued after they did that their um, play play wedding and lewis wanted to actually destroy her ovaries because that's all the ladies keep talking about my ovaries my ovaries spoil my ovaries <laughs> two months go by and the love seemed better than ever as they go house hunting she does this tactic where she frowns so they can reduce the cost of the house and let me be honest lola it won't work. <laughs> no amount of tactic will make them reduce the money. Like, I'm being serious. And even if they do, it's not as if they are going to be like, you know what? Because you're angry, we'll remove 2 million naira. Pay 20k. 
<laughs> but I don't know where this joke was going to meet you. If to remove me, the, the, <laughs> they both frowned on their face as the man gave them a talk. He said, um, "This house comes with a lot of things. It comes with two beds, and um, that, that's all." <laughs> and they bought it. They get the house, and at this Christmas party, they start doing what they know best, which is PDA. The interesting thing about the party was when Louis and Lola gave the backstory on how they met, or better still, when they actually became lovers, since they have always been friends since childhood. They kick the story off with when the disrespect for Tonya started. Because even at their date, my guy Louis was still eyeing Lola. And after she left, he bought them drinks and made it clear that he wasn't interested in anyone else but Lola. And Lola also made it clear that she would play the hardest hard to get ever. How about you? You like me to join you? How about mm -hmm. you go back there and continue drinking by yourself? <laughs> In episode 2, a lot more happened, but I'll breeze straight. Lola reminded him that they've been friends from childhood. He was so happy to finally see her that he wanted her to stay, even if it meant that he had to hire her and pay her double. I'm your toy. Play with me. Pause. I won't lie, I don't do this normally, but I just wanted to just say congratulations to these guys. Like, they killed this scene. Watching this episode made me sweat. I don't know about you, but like, the tension was killing me. If you watch it, you know what I'm talking about. Like, it was just so... Ah, I don't even know. But anyways, back to the review. They do the boom boom pow, also known as the ovary shaker. <laughs> What's my deal with over <laughs> Then they go back to the present day where we see Larry make this big mistake where he sent a naughty text to the wrong person and all hell broke loose. <laughs> wait, you know what? Let me even read the text. I can't wait to cover you up in whipped cream and lick it off slowly. Just like you love it. <laughs> Let's make dirty movie together. <laughs> <laughs> Aminu called in so he would flex with his cigar and also brag about how rich he was and at one point he even tried to flex with his chest. Oh, I didn't know you were taking your clothes off for me. Well, I should be going home. Hey! Yeah. Mission failed! We'll get him next time! Then here comes the final boss. The guy that could not even find a shirt that has a button. What are you wearing, man? What are you wearing? Get away from my ladies! But his name is Kojo and he's Aminu's cousin so we know he has money. And he was brought into the show to apparently be the CEO of Amino's dad's company. But yeah, I'm confused. He has packs. He shouldn't be a CEO. That's how stereotypes work. You should be like a gym instructor. Don't, don't come here and tell me I'll see you. I'm not. <laughs> Why do I hate this guy? They also tried to do a mini intervention on Tayo and make him admit that he likes Hadiza. But that did not work out because he's still missing Tiara. And this frustrated Hadiza that she had to live with her gifts. <laughs> I'm joking, she did not live without gifts. <laughs> but she did not leave without schooling him. Adiza went on this rant on how he always uses his head and not his heart. And she just told him the gospel truth that his inability to fall in love is because he is scared of getting heartbroken. And the episode ended with Tiara crying on a train. <laughs> I really liked this episode. I won't lie. I can't wait for the final episode, which will be on the 1st of next year. Nice job, guys. I have no issues with the two episodes I reviewed. I have no issues with it. Oh, it's, I have one issue with it. <clears throat> iPhone 5? Really? I try to get my head up with sea levels. What? We are from this don't see levels. This Thank you guys for watching. Guys, I wanted to just say something first. I don't know when this video is coming out, but today, I just got the gifts from Red TV and I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> How do I even put this? Like, to me, I'm just like a guy just shouting in my room. Do you understand? Closed all the windows and I'm sweating. I did not expect it. I don't want it to be so mushy, but thank you Red TV for going out of your way to, to give this hungry YouTuber food. <laughs> I truly, I truly, truly appreciate you guys. So anyways, I also wanted to say, I have a Patreon. Guys, if you want to support me in making a, say making, in buying a computer, please, the Patreon link is in the description. And you also get exclusive videos. Check out my friend's song. I used it at the end of the video. Please, his link is also there. Go to his link. Tell him, um, <laughs> Prince sent you. Comment. Destroy it. He's my university friend. I, I love the guy. Question of the day is, what's your, what was your dream phone? when you were younger. I remember I got this, I mean not make this in long. I got this Chinese phone and I loved it. 
It's spoiled in like three days. <laughs> Thank you guys for giving me a wonderful year. It had a lot of ups, it had a lot of downs, but I'm alive and you guys are alive to watch my videos, so I really appreciate it. Please keep supporting me, please. I don't say this a lot. Please keep supporting me and we'll see ourselves next year by God's grace. Bye! Me, I too bad, Me, I too bad, They never see levels. They never see levels. All these IG girls never see levels. All these boys, all of them never see levels. They never see levels. Just wanna go to Lakeview to reminisce.